Hey folks, it's the Brown Noser. We are on Rock Lake in Algonquin Provincial Park. We are here for two nights. We are in a camper, not a tent. And uh, we're going to explore this lake, which is supposed to have some petroglyphs and a waterfall and much more. So why don't you come along? Rock Lake Campground is about a three hour drive from Ottawa and is located off Highway 60 in Algonquin Provincial Park. The campsite is situated between Rock Lake and Whitefish Lake along a narrow channel of the Madawaska River. Because we had rented a camping trailer, we stayed in the electrical hookup area. We liked the trailer, but didn't like being in what was essentially a parking lot with a few trees. It was crowded with little privacy. As soon as we set up our site, it was time to hit the water. We put our kayaks in at the beach on Rock Lake. This is where our adventure begins. I haven't I haven't shown you the uh, the campsite with our our trailer yet, so I'll I'll do that after dinner. So we're in the electrical hookup zone of the camping site at Rock Lake and uh, I'm just going to show you our campsite as we've set it up. Let's see we have our kayaks here and we have rented a little camper trailer. Well, it's just enough room for the two of us. It's got air conditioning if needed. Uh, it's got a ceiling fan, which is all we needed for last night. We were very comfortable. Not sleeping on the ground. Four solid walls. We even have a kitchen in the back with a sink, which makes washing up very easy. 
and then our bug free eating area which we have at every site so as far as setups for campsites is really good um, the only thing is it's uh, it's not a quiet area I don't know if you can hear the music it, we can certainly hear it uh, I feel that people shouldn't share their music like this especially when it's shitty music but anyway uh, so you know I would I would sleep in one of these vehicles again but I would never ever ever come to a place like this where there's just no privacy and a lot of noise we are on day two we are on Rock Lake we're gonna go look for those petroglyphs and a waterfall and apparently there's a fresh spring and we are low on fresh water because there's a oil advisory on this site. Let's head out. of the rock makes it hard to discern from just the natural color of the rock and paint and while it was easy to see when there were lines almost like fingers going down um, I am not detecting much else here but I mean it's beautiful the, the rock alone is beautiful Here comes the sun, doo -doo -doo -doo. here comes the sun, and I say it's alright. We spotted another person in a Delta kayak and eventually caught up with her. I like your taste in kayak. <laughs> It's my birthday today, so I, oh. came, I came Wednesday, and I'm, I'm here through Monday. Happy birthday. Thank you. I normally do Charleston, Frontenac, and Barnacle, but I'm getting bored. Right. <laughs> I need more adventure. Takes a long time to get bored in Algonquin Park. Did you add the sea turtle decals to your... Uh... I did. They're nice. <laughs> and to differentiate, you see that I have this stripe, this red stripe. Okay. 
Uh, oh, yeah, stripe. I see it now. That's not a delta, that's me. Ah, uh, okay. She explained that she was a solo paddler who kept supplies locked up in her car and kept only what she needed to camp for a day or two in her kayak. She returned to her car whenever she needed to stock up. She avoided portaging whenever she could, something that DW and I understood. We walked the portage in search of a waterfall and also for a natural spring where we hope to fill our water bottles. This easy portage connects Rock Lake and Penn Lake. We had heard that there was a natural spring along the portage trail um, but we looked and we couldn't find anything and I was getting eaten alive so we're back in our kayaks we're gonna head back to camp but what we're gonna do is we're gonna explore more of this lake as, as we go along because it's just beautiful here I really like it here if only we didn't have to camp to, to do it. <laughs> We've just spotted a moose dead ahead. He's quite far. He's, I don't know, 400, 500 meters away. So this camera's not going to pick it up. And of course, I stowed my DSLR with the long lens in my front storage space because I was like, ah, oh, what are the chances of seeing a moose? Well, that's the chances of seeing a moose. It's Murphy's Law all the time.
BMW was able to recover my camera from the storage compartment and I was able to zoom in on our four-legged friend. After spending more than a half an hour with the moose, we made our way back to camp for lunch and then started our next adventure for the day. Booth's Rock Trail takes you on a 5.1 kilometer loop that takes you to a beautiful high bluff lookout that overlooks Rock Lake. Part of the lower trail takes you on an abandoned and overgrown railway line. It's a challenging climb, and in June, the deer flies and mosquitoes are relentless. The lookout, which rivals Barren Canyon, is worth the effort. It's a very smoky morning. So that's Rock Lake on this very smoky Sunday morning. Uh, there's Obviously not a lot we're going to do on a day like today other than head back to town. So from Rock Lake in beautiful Algonquin Park, Ontario, this is the Brown Noser. If you like these videos, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you next time.